This is going to be the big winner. And I know, as he mentioned, it's just kind of a drop in the bucket, but at least it's something. And we're going to be getting a couple feet of snow for some folks up in our mountains. Here's a live look up at Deer Valley, Bald Mountain. It's clear right now. So after last night's storm, those clouds are breaking apart, tapering off, or that rain that we saw is tapered off. And uh, we're in the mid to upper 40s right now. It's actually going to be a very mild December day. That's the case all along the Wasatch Front. Park City, you're in the low 40s. 45 in Twilla and down in St. George, low 50s. And you can see how uh, those clouds are kind of just thinning out through northern Utah. You've got lots of sunshine. Some of that sticking around, though, down in southern Utah. You see mostly cloudy skies at Zion National Park right now. And that storm that brought a little bit of rain last night and snow, that's pushed off to the northeast of us. But take a look. This is that trough of low pressure, and it's going to deepen, um, and it's going to make its way into the Beehive State Wednesday into Friday. So let's take a look at an hour-by-hour hour timeline of what we can expect. Well, we'll take a look at that coming up in our Super 7-Day Forecast. Today in Salt Lake City, though, you don't have any problems to worry about in terms of any weather-related problems on the roads. We're warming up to the upper 40s. This is 10 degrees above our average, partly cloudy skies, a light breeze coming from the northwest. So if you have anything to do outside, today's a good day to do it. You've got three of a kind along the Wasatch Front, upper 40s, low 40s in Park City and St. George. You're nearing 60 degrees. Overnight in Salt Lake City, temperatures are really going to get a lot colder. We'll be down in the low 30s with mostly clear skies and things will be calm. That's ahead of that storm. And let's talk a little bit more about that. So in southern Utah, you're going to warm up to the upper 50s tomorrow. So for all of us, it's going to be another comfortable, mild day tomorrow. Clouds start increasing. We'll get rain showers down in St. George Thursday morning throughout the day. Mountain snow showers. You'll drop down to the low 50s, low 40s on Friday, and then you're going to wake up Saturday morning. You'll dry out, but you'll wake up to the low 20s. So that's going to feel real cool down in St. George. But we're going to take a look at our super seven day forecast in northern Utah. Tomorrow, you're going to start to see a blanket of clouds kind of taking over. We'll warm up to about 50 degrees, but fear not, that storm is on the way. So by Thursday, uh, we're going to start to see some rain showers. Actually, Wednesday night, rain showers developing, and then we're going to see a rain and snow mix by Thursday morning with mountain snow showers, that rain and snow mix down to the valley floors. So this is our storm confidence right now. So we're extremely confident that there's going to be big time travel impacts Thursday afternoon and especially Friday morning and also a blast of cold air. It's going to get much colder. You're going to feel that winter weather coming in full force. The timing of the storm, we do have high confidence in that Wednesday night into Friday afternoon, early Friday evening, but we're still ironing out some of those details with how much snow we are going to see. But at this point, it is looking good. So we'll talk about by Friday afternoon how much snow we could see. Valleys seeing one to four inches of snow accumulating. And by Friday morning, we could see lake effect snow event kind of developing off the Great Salt Lake. So Salt Lake County southward is where we're especially going to be seeing that one to four inches developing. Mountains are northern mountains, mainly south of I-80 and along the spine of the mountains through central and southwestern Utah. 10 to 16 inches and boom, cottonwoods seeing up to a couple uh couple feet, excuse me, of snow. So 14 to 28 inches is what we're looking at. You'll dry out Friday afternoon into Friday evening, and then that cold air really settles in. We'll drop to 19 degrees by Saturday morning. Things will look dry this upcoming weekend, but boy, Max, it's going to be cold. You'll be in the low 30s on Saturday, but we'll rebound to the mid 40s on Monday. But we are hoping that Mother Nature does what she's planning to do.